Hey guys, since I had to do this anyway for myself recently, I thought I should make a quick tutorial about how to install an engine in Chessbase. The one engine that I think everyone should use is Stockfish, since it's free and open source and compatible with Chessbase. So here's my um, Stockfish 10 page. And what you have to do is you just have to click download. This is assuming you already have Chessbase. So you click save, you put it somewhere on your computer, like your desktop, whatever. And then you show it in the folder. So click open folder. And then you just have to extract all right here. Right click and do extract all. And then it'll prompt you to extract. Just click that and then you're done with the stockfish part. So I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. Now, um, we're here in chess space now. What you do from here is you open a board window. You'd think that uh, with German engineering, they would have made it a little more intuitive to set up an engine, but they didn't. They made it hide inside of your board window's ribbon. So you click home, drop the ribbon down, and you come over here to this engine area. The way that you turn engines on and off is with default kibitzer, which is it'll automatically turn on whichever one you like to use, or add kibitzer, where you can add a particular one. This is my already installed Stockfish 10. I'm going to install a sl slightly different one just to show you guys. Now, um, if you want to edit an existing engine, you go to you go to um, add kibitzer and then click advanced and you can clear you can change any of these parameters. Um, for example, you could change the hash table size. Um, you can change any of these. And if you're an advanced engine user, um, you can change any of these things that you think are important, like the move overhead or whatever, or the analysis contempt. But I don't really recommend changing that for anyone. I think it's just utterly unnecessary. The only thing I would recommend to change is the number of threads that you use. If you use all of the threads that your computer has available, which is basically all of the, the logical thinking parts of the, of the computer, um, your computer is going to get really slow, especially if you already have a slow computer, which many people um, have if they're playing chess on the cheap. So my computer has 12 cores, which is a lot more than a lot of computers had in recent years. Um, like my, my last computer had like, let me think. I had like four cores or something. I mean, four threads. Um, so that means like four brains that can each think about one variation at a time. So I like to set mine to just one below whatever um, number of threads you have. The way that you can tell how many cores you have is, you, I mean, the number of threads that you have is you look at how many cores you have and you would have one logical unit for each core. Um, you, you have to look at your hardware specifications to figure that out. Uh, it's probably printed on your, um, if you have a laptop, it's probably on the side of your laptop or something. Otherwise, ask some nerd to help you. Um, and it, you have to next see if you have hyper-threading. If your computer has hyper-threading, you basically multiply the number of threads by two. Um, the number of cores by two is the number of threads that you have. That's a little bit confusing, but not that much. It's basically, you just have to figure it out. And once you've figured it out, set it to one below the maximum. That way... When you're navigating the rest of your computer while you're, while you're doing some kind of analysis task, you're not going to slow down too much, but you're also not going to lose a lot of the analysis quality. More threads is better, but you don't want your computer to be so slow that you can't use it. Anyway, that's how you change your settings. You click OK after all that stuff. Um, and once you've done that, it'll generally load your engine right away. So this is what it looks like. You know, it has an evaluation based on what it's done so far. It has a suggested best line, and it's going to update these as you let it run more. Supposedly, hopefully, it'll get closer to the truth as you go. Um, but for some positions, the engine really can only do a rough approximation. Engines are the best for spotting tactics that you missed. Anyway, so I'm just going to kill that and um, go back to setting up a new engine. So to set up a new engine, you click Create UCI Engine. And in here, um, this is just how the dialog box always looks. You click these three dots, and then you have to navigate to where you installed that thing before. So for me, um, it was on my desktop, but I dropped it somewhere else. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna download the Stockfish again, just because I forget where I saved the other one. This way I can show you guys the extraction process. Oh, it's already there. It was just in a zip folder. So extract all, extract it to that location. Okay, and now bam, you can close it after you've extracted. Basically, I just didn't do the extraction. So um, that being done, you come back to your board window. Do it again, create UCI engine, click the three dots, and then you navigate 
to your desktop and then to the Stockfish folder. And you keep going down until you find this folder that says Windows. And this is where you can click on whichever engine you like. I already had the Stockfish 1064, so I'm going to do this one just to show you. So you click whichever the executable is that you want. You click Open. And then it'll populate these boxes if you did it right. So it'll show you the name of the engine, which you shouldn't change. It'll show you who the authors are, which is irrelevant to our use. Um, and then you can adapt the parameters the way that I mentioned before. And once you click, oh, I guess I already did this engine, so I'm going to do a different one. A lot of bloopers in this one, but I'm sure you guys have bloopers in real life too. I'm going to do this BMI2 one. I definitely don't have that on my computer. So I click that executable, assuming that's the one I wanted. You guys would all click the 64, the 32, whichever, and then click OK. And now once that's done, you can go into your add kibitzer, select the engine that you loaded, and then run it. And now you'll see it analyzing the position just like before. There it goes, analyzing all the stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that and that this was helpful. If you have any issues, just leave a comment in the chat. And please subscribe if you want to support me in doing more tutorials in the future. Um, anyway, this has been Coach Robert, and I hope you guys have fun using your new chess engine.